Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to today's Asia Graphics Webinar Session 24. Uh, I'm Shisheng Huang from Beijing, non Beijing Normal University. Um, today, we are very happy to invite two speakers. Uh, the first speaker is Professor John Matani from University of Shikuba, Japan. And the second speaker is Dr. Qin Fang from University of Science and Technology of China. Uh, so let's, uh, let's welcome. Okay. Uh, so uh, today's uh, uh, first talk is curved origami uh, design. Uh, the speaker is Professor John Matani. Uh, Matani is a professor of information and system at the University of Chicago. Uh, he received his PhD in engineering from the University of Tokyo in 2004. He has been present post since April 2050. His research interests center on computer graphics, in particular geometric modeling techniques and their application to origami design. The origami artworks created by him have features that are three-dimensional shapes with a smooth curved surface. His main books are 3D origami art and a curved origami design. In 2010, through an exchange with Easy Mayaka, he contributed to the launch of the new 132.5 fashion brand. He also cooperated in the design of origami used in the movies Shai Godla and the Death Note light up the new world. His unique origami has been well, rec well received around the world, and he had received invitations to hold workshops and ex exhibitions in Germany, Switzerland, Italy, Israel, and many other countries. His work has inspired the design of the trophy for the player of the match winner of the each game at the Rugby World Cup 2019. His major awards are Microsoft Research Japan Informatics Research Award and the second Japan Society for, Compu for Graphic Science Award. He was appointed as a Japan Cultural Envoy from the Agency for Cultural Affairs in 2019. He visited eight Asian countries in November, December, 2019 as the envoy. So Professor John, uh, are you ready? Uh, you can begin now. Professor? Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay. Thank you very much so, for the introduction. So you can open the screen test. OK. I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, so thank you very much for the introduction. And my name is Jim Itani, and I'm from the University of Tsukuba in Japan. Uh, today, I will talk about the curved origami design as shown in this top page slide. I am interested in designing this kind of curved origami. And also, uh, the chair introduced me. Uh, I will also give the short self-introduction. And I am at the Department of Computer Science at the University of Tsukuba. And my research area is computer graphics and the geometric modeling, and especially focusing on origami design. And I also active as an artist, so I created many origami artworks as shown in this page. And I posted several origami artworks of my design on Instagram or Africa and our photo sharing services. So if you have interest in my origami pieces, uh, please access to the web page after uh, this uh, session. And I have published two origami related uh, design books in English. One is called Folding Origami Design and the other one is 3D Origami 
art. And they are mainly focusing on the techniques, how to design the carved origami models. On today's talk, uh, I will provide topics related to shape modeling of origami. Uh, that is the shapes that can be made by folding a single sheet of paper. And the main focus is on introducing the origami design applications that we have developed over the past 10 years or so. And so the topic is a rather old fashioned, a classic mesh based shape modeling techniques. So unfortunately, it is not a state of the art shape modeling technology based on recent modern machine learning. But uh, it is not novel, but I hope you will be interested in it because it provides a topic that specializes in a specific category of origami. And as you may know, the modern machine learning technique is red ocean, but the origami is very blue ocean. So I think it is not so difficult to catch up the top of the origami design of research. Okay, so I will first uh, briefly introduce some origami pieces I created uh, recently. So now I think you can understand what kind of the origami I am interested in. As this photo and the CG rendered image show, uh, the curves are included in the three-dimensional shape. And mainly I am interested in making this kind of the smooth surfaces with curved folds. And this is a origami model. I put it on the top page of the slide. I prefer this uh, cute origami pieces. And recently I designed this kind of the object and these are made from a single sheet of paper. And these are also uh, with the same kind of origami. Okay, so first I will briefly introduce the geometry of curved folds uh, because this is already clarified in the area of differential geometry. So the mathematical basis is clear. So the problem to design the curved origami is not for in the field of mathematics, but for the area of the user interface of the, or the handling on the computer uh, graphics. So the basic knowledge I will introduce is related to the uh, 3D shape and the map 2D patterns. Uh, these are very basic equations, but uh, I will introduce one by one because it's very important to understand the relationships between the 2D pattern and the 4D 3D shapes. The kappa 2D is a curvature of the 2D crease lines shown in blue here. Uh, equal the curvature of the curve in 4D state in 3D space shown in red curve here. Uh, much times cosine alpha s. Alpha is a folding angle shown in blue lines here. So this is a relationship between the curvature in 2D and the 3D. And the cotangent beta L and the cotangent beta R represent the angles uh, between the rulings and the tangent vector on 2D plane. And these angles have these relationships. That means the angle beta on the left side and the right side are decided by the curvature of the 3D curve and the folding angle. And also it contains the value of the torsion. So with these equations, we can reproduce the 3D shape from the 2D pattern and the 3D curve that represents the crease. So these colors uh, express the elements used in these equations. 
the red one is 3D Chris curve, and define, which is defined by curvature and torsion. And the blue one is the 2D Chris curve, which is defined by curvature in 2D. And finally, the blue one is the fold angle, which is not constant, which may differ uh, by the positions. And with these equations, we can make the 3D shape and the 2D pattern at the same time from the two of above parameters, A, B, and C, which means uh, true number three are clear. We can make the another one parameter. So we can uh, reproduce the 3D shape from two parameters in three. Okay. So as I said, the the mathematics of a curved fold is revealed. So we, we but we still do not know how to design attractive curved origami. So today's uh, topics I will talk is in three. And one is three design approaches. And the next one is curved folds on origami simulator. And finally, I will talk about the design interface for Swiss space curved folds. At the beginning, I will talk about the properties of developable surfaces. Uh, developable surfaces is considered as a surfaces consisted with line elements. As you can see in this page, the conical surface or cylindrical one and the tangent developable are well-known three classes of developable surfaces. The conical one consists with line uh, that cross at a point. We call this point as apex. And the cylindrical surface consists with line elements that are all parallel, like this. And tangent developable is consisting with line elements that are a set of tangents of a space curve, uh, like this. And all of these surfaces have the properties that the Gaussian curvature at any point is all times zero. So there exists an isometric map to a plane. So which means these surfaces can be made with a single sheet of paper or without any distortion. So now we can say that uh, we can make a cone or a cylinder uh, from a single sheet of paper uh, like this. But unfortunately, we cannot make a sphere uh, because the surface of a sphere has a non-zero Gaussian curvature. So we can say that it's impossible to create a sphere. But I had a question. Is it really uh, impossible or not? Uh, because we can observe that candies are spheres uh, wrapped by a square sheet. Uh, we can see uh, this kind of wrapped candy in the store. So we can observe that the sheet without any distortion and no gaps or no cut, we can make a sphere, wrapping a sphere. The reason why we can make a sphere from a single sheet of paper is that the paper has small wrinkles. Uh, that means a tiny folds. I can say that adding folds on the paper is a kind of technique of origami. So we can make a sphere adding folds. Uh, based on this uh, simple concept, uh, we can make the 3D model by applying the folds on the surface. As this animation shows, starting from the wrapping sphere, we can unfold into a flattened state. As you can see, uh, by adding the folds in symmetrically, we can calculate the exact flaps or folds on the paper. 
and we can simulate the wrapping sphere by a single sheet. And there are another way to wrap a sphere uh, because the left side is a wrapping sphere with a single uh, twisting here. And in this case, we can see that twists in uh, both bottom and the top in two positions. So we can make the 3D CG model by calculating the location of the flaps as same as the first case. So we can observe the animation of the model always this surface area keeping in the same. And uh, there are no distortions. Okay, so I will introduce a very basic idea of how to make the previous animation. We will start the intended 3D model, and then we can make the maps by unfolding, uh, by cutting along the edges. But the cutting is not allowed on origami, so we have to fill the gaps to make uh, the pattern on the 2D. And then we can modify the gap and locate and add to the original 3D model to make uh, it consistent with the certain pattern. Uh, there are several possibilities to achieve this, but I uh, I took the approach for adding flaps or adding protrusions around the surface. Uh, by doing this, I, uh, we can now make the pattern of the sphere uh, like this. By starting from the divided surface of the sphere, we can make the pattern as shown here. The yellow area represents the surface of the original sphere, and the green area shows the gap we have to fill out. And then the gap is located to the outer side of the sphere surface. And we can make uh, these origami models from this pattern. And another possibility is shown here. We can make this pattern also from the same sphere. And the, again, the green area is the gap. And we can make this model by folding and making the gaps outside of the sphere. Uh, by applying this basic uh, idea, now we can implement this idea on the designing system. So I will show the demo uh, of these applications. Okay, just a moment, I will switch the screen to the application. Mm. Okay, this is a very simple application developed on the web application. And this is written on JavaScript with JavaScript. So here I will show a very quick demo. Uh, we can input the polyline in the screen and this uh, black line represent the uh, axis for rotational symmetry. So then the 3D model is generated in right top side, and this is real time. We can change the location of the position uh, of the vertices. And the unique point is that the vertex can move across the rotational axis. Uh, by doing this, the 3D shape has this twisting pa path like this. And by what, looking at the bottom, we can see a small hole exists. So now we can close this hole by moving the vertices like this. And now you can see that the crisp pattern is all, automatically generated from this 3D model. And there are several uh, parameters to change the shapes. 
And of course, we can make the smooth curves by uh, dividing the input polylines into uh, subdivided polyline like this. So now we can see the curved surfaces model like this. And there are some examples already uh, I entered. Uh, for example, this is a sphere model and wrap the eggs and twist tower like this. And you can see that the input is very, very simple. So you can try on the web page by Google the Oli label, the name of this software. Okay, so I will go back to the presentation slide. Okay, by using this uh, application, now we can make many, many origami uh, shapes as we like. So the final process is making the origami uh, foldings by human's hand. It is very difficult part, but I am used to. So I can create a very uh, nice looking the attractive curved origami models. I will show a short video which uh, show the making process. Uh, this is four times faster than real time. So this video is one minute. So the actually I created this origami pieces in four or five minutes. Uh, starting from the regular hexagon, I added curved folds. As you can see, the flat sheet of paper changes the shape uh, slightly and a small folds are added like this. Uh, because it is very difficult to add smooth curved folds without any uh, scores. So I added creases uh, beforehand by using the cutting machine. Okay, now it's uh, almost finished. You can see that the final shape is so quickly created like this. Okay, so this is a video of the cutting plotter. I plotted the crease lines on the paper by using this kind of cutting plotter. Okay, so I have many, many origami pieces in my laboratory and I uh displayed some origami pieces in the department store okay so now i move on to the next topics of interactive design of frontal curved folding by using the reflection uh, this is a very old uh, research topics but i think this is uh important to create uh, origami models with interactive interface uh, this is very basic theory. Uh, fold can be added to a developable surface by reflecting a part of the surface by an intersecting plane, as this figure shows, by adding a uh, plane and then uh, reflecting a part of the original surface, we can get the developable surface with uh, creases. And this is developable, so we can make the right side shapes uh, as a single sheet of paper. And by applying a set of mirror operations, we can make uh, rather complicated shapes uh, from a single uh, simple shape. So by applying the mirror reflections, we can make uh, this kind of origami models from a single cone. And by doing this, we can make this model from a single sheet. Uh, this is a map of the model. So we can reproduce the geometry from a single sheet of paper. And I will also show the very quick demo of this software. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the application. So now I pick 
the vertex of the model. And then we can drag the position of the vertex as we like, like this, and then fix the shape. And again, we can pick and move the position. Oh, oh, oh I picked wrong point. Okay. Ah, uh, like this. And we can repeat the same operations like this. And then uh, we can pick the any vertex as we like. So we can change the shape uh, like this. OK. So this is a very simple, but the idea is uh, very important to realize interactive editing. We start from a single developable surface and click the vertex and then drag the vertex. And how to realize this? The idea is shown in this slide. When the user drags the vertex of the surface, the system automatically calculates the mirror plane from the starting point of the vertex and the current position of the vertex. And by dividing this line segment into two, uh, we can define the intersection of the plane. And the model is updated by reflecting the drawing part uh, like this. So the idea is very simple, but by using this software, now we can create the uh, many different type of origami models as shown here. So these models are designed by using the software. Okay, and there are several models like this. And left side is the initial developable surface and the second one is a model we designed and Chris pattern and the photo of the model. Okay, and uh, next is uh, another user interface for designing column shaped origami based on mirror reflections. The idea is almost the same with the previous one because the model is generated by applying the mirror operations. The, yeah, before talking about detail of the algorithm, I will show the application. And the application is divided in several windows. I will share the uh, screen. Okay. Okay, there are four screens here. And now we can input the Poly lines and almost same with the first application I introduced you. But the difference is that, that we can also design the top view of the model. So we now input the cross section here, and then we can also input the top view of the 3D origami models. So by inputting the zigzag pattern as the cross section and the zigzag pattern on the top section, we can get uh, this 3D model under the constraints. So now we can interactively uh, change the position of the vertex. And also we can change the shape of the top view model and by Using these interfaces, we can now design uh, several different origami models from this. Okay. So now what I input is the profile polyline shown here. The system sweeps the profile polyline 
And then we also define the trajectory path. Uh, by inputting the profile polyline and trajectory path, uh, we can make the 3D origami shapes as I showed before. The basic concept is the uh, reflection. So from the trajectory path, the system automatically calculate the location and the orientation of the reflection frame. So the user do not need to care for that by inputting to polyline, the 3D shape is very easily designed. So this is an example uh, if we input the profile line like this, and also we input the trajectory path like this, and then we obtain this kind of origami models. Okay. So there are another case, and this zigzag pattern uh, generates the mirror patterns. And also this simple input creates a well-known Yoshimura pattern. So this interface is very powerful, uh, which can design already known patterns with simple interface. Okay. And this is uh, some result. Uh, we can get the software. Uh, these uh, photos I created. Okay. So now, I will move on to the curved folds on origami simulator, uh, which is published in the 2021. And I think some of you may know the origami simulator, which runs on the web browser and which simulate the folding motions on the crease patterns. So, but then the previous origami simulator that cannot handle the curve. So the originally, the origami simulator makes the triangle mesh from the input curve, but it is not suitable for simulating the curved folds. So we try to improve this feature uh, by improving the meshing algorithms, uh, which is named by as ruling area triangulation. Uh, which means that triangulation is very important to define the final shape uh, because the curved surface are uh, consisted with the uh, ruling lines we have to take care for the straight lines on the surface and they should be included in the triangular mesh so so uh, this shows the initial origami simulator and this is a result of the implemented Okay, so this is a very, very simple uh, algorithm and outline of the proposed method. We start with the crease pattern having the curves. And then we discretize them and employ the constraint drawn triangulations. And this is not good for curved origami simulation. So we apply the edge swap operations uh, to improve the triangle mesh. So the basic idea is to make the rulings almost perpendicular to the crease lines. So we define the error functions as shown here, which calculate the difference between the perpendicular angles and the original angles. So to minimize the error, we iterate the edge swap operations. So starting from the crease pattern, and we can make the final mesh uh, like this. And this is a result. Uh, we can now simulate the curved folds as this figure show. Uh, just inputting the these crease lines, we can get the 3D shape. And it is very similar with the actual origami models uh, made with the physical paper. And this works very well, even the crease pattern is complicated. So this is the uh, crease pattern we designed and the uh, final model is almost uh, similar with the actual original models.
Okay, so starting from the cloud lines, we can make the 3D model uh, like this. So this feature is now implemented on the origami simulator. So now you can simulate the foldings with creases uh, like this. Okay, so this is the last topic I have prepared for this session. And the final one is the interactive curved fold modeling using a handle curve. And this is the latest study of our laboratory. And uh, this is published in this paper. And the goal is to design this kind of the curved origami models uh, interactively uh, because this shape is easy to create a paper, but it is not easy uh, designing on a CAD or CG systems uh, because the fold curve has a space curve and the uh, crease pattern and the uh, rulings have to be defined uh, very precisely. So the target shape is as described here, which is developable surface and with a single curved folds. Okay, so this is the origami models made with these simple crease patterns. And this video shows how to create these origami models. Even though this process is very easy, but uh, it is very difficult problem. How can we create this 3D model on the CAD CD software? Uh, this uh, shows the creases on the space. So we propose a method uh, which accept as input. Uh, one first one is Chris curve, and the second one is handle curve, a copy of the Chris curve. So by using this handle curve, we can define not only the Chris curve, but also the shape of the uh, developable surfaces. So by using these two curves, we can define the final shape. Uh, because this due to the time limitation, I will skip the detail of the algorithm, but uh, I will briefly just explain the just concept. So the crease curve is designed input by the user, and the hardware curve is generated by the system, and the user control the shape and the location of the handle curve, and then the system automatically generates the developable surfaces consisted with the rulings uh, that are generated between two curves. And I will show the interface of the proposed system. And the black line, black curves are creases, and then this yellow curve is a handle curve, and the user can move and change the location and the shape of the handle curve and the system automatically update the developable surfaces. It looks like very simple, but the uh, system have to calculate the mathematically uh, correct shapes, not only considering the location of the handle curve, the system calculate the exact shapes according to the formulas I initially introduced in this talk. Uh, by applying this approach, now we can design this kind of origami shapes just by inputting two curves here, uh, black curves and green curves. So black curve can uh, represent the creases, and this green curve define the body of the developable surface. And the reflected uh, for the data developable is automatically calculated. So we can get to this shape. And this is the way to design this origami pieces and the system generate by changing the shape of the handle curve. And you can see that this graph represents the relationships of the folding angle against the parameter or arc length parameter of the crease curve. So we can see that the angle changes uh, in very um, 
unusual curve. It is not easy to predict these relationships. So it's possible if we can enter this curve manually to design this model, but it's very difficult problem. However, by using our interface, the user can easily uh, design this model and the angle is automatically decided. And this shows the maps of the 3D surface. Okay, so now we can enter, create this kind of one curve fold origami shapes very quickly. Okay, I think now is the time to wrap up my talk. And here is a summary. And the geometry of curve folding has become quite clear in mathematics. But a user interface is crucial for designing artistic shapes. So we developed several design tools for curved folds and created various shapes. And I will uh, show some feature work. And many artworks are made by the minute expansion and contraction at the folds to achieve expressive shapes. And a shape modeling tool that allows for minute distortion in folds is desirable, but we don't have uh, such a tool. So this is a kind of future work to make uh, this tool. And research and development using heat deformating materials that take into account manufacturing processes such as self-folding uh, is a very hot topic these days. So this could be uh, one direction uh, we have to consider. Okay, so this is the end of my talk. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Professor Matani. Thank you for your wonderful talk with the many nice uh, origami results. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, so let's, uh, uh, let's see uh, questions. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, Professor Martini, um, we have uh, uh, two questions. Um, um, the, the first question is, um uh, uh can you uh how 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 can you uh think the problem to automatically created uh the curved folding uh for any given 3d models um uh, so how do you, uh, how do you think uh, how how can we solve um this problem if we uh if if we would like to uh, created automatically created a capital for the for a given uh, 3D models. Yeah, thank you very much. I understand the question, yes. but yes. it is a very difficult problem. I think. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -to, mm -to. Even for the origami artist, there that is a uh, very challenging and there. The no mm, solid uh, solutions. We don't okay. know how to realize the three any three D shape. Uh, okay. As you may know, the professor Tomohiro Tachi uh, achieved that uh, by adding the tax on the surface. So the surface could be discretized as a triangle mesh. It could be possible, but the curved folds is another uh, difficulty. So uh, I don't know how to realize that could be the future work or a new research topics. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, so the second question is, uh, how can you think the machine learning methods can be used for the origami uh, design? And uh, what do you think? Uh, I'm sorry, I cannot follow the first sentence. Uh, can you repeat it again? Okay, so the question is, uh, how do you think the machine, machine learning, machine learning method, uh -huh. yes, can be used for uh, the origami uh, design? Uh, how do you think this? Uh, 
Uh, yes, yes. Uh, machine learning is very popular, and machine learning is employed in many, many fields, including the computer graphics. Uh, but unfortunately, or fortunately, uh, the okay. machine learning is not employed on origami design, so it is empty. So now <laughs> anyone okay. can try to use machine learning. It could be the novel approach. And I don't know how to apply the machine learning for origami design, but I hope okay. if I could. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So uh, that was the question. So let's thank uh, Professor Matani again. Thank you. Hi. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Okay. Thank. Bye bye.